The National Archives is home to some of the most important records from the woman's suffrage story, including the 19th Amendment. 100 years ago, the 19th Amendment became law, prohibiting states and the federal government from denying the right to vote to citizens of the United States on the basis of sex. Our records, such as petitions, legislation, and court cases, tell the story of the struggle for voting rights as a critical step toward equal citizenship. The passage of the 19th Amendment was made possible by decades of suffragists relentless political engagement. American women across the spectrum of race, ethnicity, and class advanced the cause of suffrage. And even though we are commemorating the centennial, the struggle for voting rights continued well beyond 1920. As the National Archives member of the Congressional Women's Suffrage Centennial Commission, I'm honored to be a part of the commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. The success of the suffrage campaign and the fortitude shown by its supporters demonstrated that women can make their voices heard in the political arena. Women had been active as advocates for justice and reform before the suffrage movement, but with that fight, they showed they could have a voice on the national stage. Without the right to vote, women knew that they were denied their full rights as citizens. With the vote, they could exert influence on elected officials and lobby for issues important to them, as guaranteed in the Constitution. This anniversary reminds us that the right to vote is not always guaranteed, but was won through the work of generations of tireless activists. We are honored to be the home of the 19th Amendment, and we want the American people to join our commemoration virtually. Please join us this month at archives.gov women as we highlight records from our holdings and examine the fight for women's voting rights through virtual public programs for all ages. Thank you for joining us today for our 19th Amendment commemoration.